year is an amount becomes rupees 8800 in 4 years at 15% per annum. What is the amount? So as discussed earlier, we first need to decide what amount is he talking about. Is it the principal amount or the total amount? Now that can be understood from the given statement. The question says an amount becomes rupees 8800 in 4 years at 15% per annum. That means time period is 4 years. That is very clear. And the rate of interest is 15% per annum. Even that is fine. But the point again remains that what amount should be calculated? Is it the principal amount or the total amount? Now the point to be understood here is an amount becomes rupees 8800. Remember that whenever the word becomes is used, the value which is followed by becomes is always the total amount. This can be understood with the help of a simple example. Let's say rupees 10,000 have been invested in a bank which gives some interest. Now this 10,000 becomes 12,000 after some time. That means very clearly when we say 10,000 becomes 12,000, it becomes what? Total amount. Why? Because 12,000 has got initial amount 10,000 or the principal amount 10,000 plus extra 2,000 rupees. So whenever we use the term becomes, we always refer to that value which is the total amount. So here this 8,800 is nothing but the total amount. And he says an amount becomes 8,800. So this amount has to be calculated. And we understand that principal becomes total amount. So very clearly the point here is principal is equal to what? We need to again find out the principal. So some principal becomes 8,800 in 4 years at 15% per annum. What is the principal amount is the question. Now the second point that has to be clearly understood here is in the question nowhere it has been specified whether this is a simple interest calculation or a compound interest calculation. Simply the time period, rate of interest and the total amount has been given and the principal has to be calculated. But nowhere we find is it a simple interest or a compound interest calculation. Remember friends when there is nothing specified in the question we always need to go for simple interest. So take it for granted that if nothing has been given in the question relating to whether it is simple interest or compound interest always go for simple interest calculation. So here again you need to go for SI that is equal to PTR by 100. Now let us substitute the values and find out what can be the answer here. Now 8800 is nothing but the total amount and we know that total amount in case of SI is equal to P plus PTR by 100 and if we take P common here we get 1 plus TR by 100. So let us substitute the values and then find out the required answer. So total amount is 8800 is equal to the principal P has to be calculated into 1 plus P into R. Time period is 4 years. Already it is in years. So we need not convert. And the rate of interest is also in percentage per annum. So even that is in the proper format. So 15. R is equal to 15 divided by 100. So from this we can say this is P into 1 plus 4 into 15. 60 by 100. Which is nothing but P into 160 by 100 or 16 by 10. 16 by 10 can be taken as 8 by 5. So finally the principal P should be equal to, see this is 8800 equals to P into 8 by 5. So P will be equal to 8800 into 5 by 8. So this goes 1100 times, 1100 into 5 is 5500. So we can say that the principal should be equal to 5500. So as you can see, this is a very simple calculation. Simply apply the proper formula, substitute the values at the proper places and do the calculation to get the required answer. So this is again the general way of solving the problem where we are going by the formula. Let us now look at the smart way of solving this question where simple one cross multiplication will give us the required answer. And here we need to use the concept of percentages. Now as you can see here the time period is 4 years and the rate of interest is 15% per annum. That means every year we get 15%. So very clearly in 4 years the total interest accrued will be 15% into 4 that is 60% so we can understand that the simple interest will be equal to 4 into 15% that is nothing but 60% and we also understand that 8800 is the total amount now total amount is nothing but principal plus SI or principal plus simple interest so amount which is principal plus simple interest can be taken as 100% plus 60% we very well know that principal should be always 100% and interest from the given question is 60%. So the total amount will be 
100 plus 60, 160 percent, which is equivalent to 8,800 rupees. And we are supposed to find out what is the principal. We know that principal is 100 percent. That should be equal to what? So when we cross multiply, we get the required answer. So principal can be taken as 100 into 8,800 divided by 160. Upon simplification, we get the answer as 5,500 rupees. So as you can see here, the only step which is actually required to be written on paper is this one. That is 160 percent is equivalent to 8,800, 100 percent is equal to what? All these calculations can be done without paper. Why? Because if it is 15 percent per annum, so for 4 years it will be 60 percent and 100 plus 60 is 160. So as you can see, we are not writing too many steps on paper and that helps us save some time. Simply cross multiply to find out the required answer. So again the same point remains that principal should always be 100%. Find out the total interest in terms of percentage from the given rate of interest and the time period and do the cross multiplication to get the required answer.